there's very few things like hunting the high country in early October for elk. Uh, this is down in kind of southern Idaho area and we're going to be hunting around 9,000 feet. It's beautiful. We've gotten our first snow already. The animals are running everywhere and we're headed up into the hills on the horses. You can't ask for too much more from a hunt and this hunt was one that we'll hold on to for a while. Hunting with our good friend Nathan Williams and he has a tag and I have a tag and we're going to see some cool stuff on this trip. Trusty steeds loaded. This is round two, got camp set up. We're gonna head up high into a burned off basin this evening. See if we can't kill something. And we've got the rest of our gear here. Colton should be coming in tonight. Should be a good couple days we got ahead of us. bulls so far I've counted and that little draw we're probably gonna see some more too See with your naked eye. He's standing right there. Huh? No! They're going to the left. He's dead. Is he dead? He's down. Is he not down? No, there's a dead bullet there. Oh, okay. You're out of bullets. We had to work super quick after we shot this bull. We were about five miles from camp and we didn't have much with us and it was only about an hour before dark. And to top all that off, he died on a super steep hill. So we had to tie him off so we could work on him. After about an hour of cutting, we got all the meat off of him and got him butchered up and put in bags and took the first pack down to the bench below where we could get the horses the next day. We spent the next few hours walking out back to the horses and then back down to camp and ended up not getting back to camp until about 11 o'clock at night. And then we started all over the next morning. My brother Colton came in around midnight and we decided to do a little elk hunting ourselves on our way to pack out Nathan's bull. What you're witnessing right here is two guys running down a herd of elk on horses. These bulls were bugling their way, pushing their cows up the hill, and we were chasing them down and bugling off the horses 
as we gained ground on them. And we were going to try and do what we'd always wanted to do, and that is to shoot an elf right off the horses.
This hunt was an absolute blast. Just getting to run these elk down on the horses and then chasing them through this open timber was unbelievable. But I didn't end up taking this bull and we kept on up the mountain. And little did we know we were gonna find one of the coolest things we've ever found in our careers. Just up the mountain a couple hundred yards. It's been a good hunt so far. Uh, passed up about 20 to 25 bulls. Hard to say exactly. Might have seen some of the same ones twice. But I'm really, you know, I've spent enough of my life compromising on things. And compromise is interesting, you know. We think that we just compromise a situation and get what we want out of the deal and somebody else gets what they want out of the deal. Um, but I've spent enough of my life compromising, especially in so many areas of my life and hunting too you know you just you set out and you want to kill something big and you end up compromising for something small and you end up robbed of what you really wanted in your dreams and everything else and the same principle is really true with Jesus often we find ourselves compromising <clears throat> or compromising a relationship with God you know like I got a I got a good enough it's good enough it's a good enough relationship oh that's a bunch of junk really uh, there we we see in the bible that there's no compromise you're either all in or you're all out with jesus um, and just because we're american or just because whatever doesn't mean that we're saved by any means uh, there's a passage in matthew 7 that says uh, in that day when we come face to face with jesus when we die uh, many will say lord lord did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do all these mighty things in your name? And he's going to say, get away from me. I never knew you. And that's that life of compromise. That's that life of compromise. You, you've, got a, you've got a good enough relationship with God. You've gone to church a couple of times. But if you haven't ever given your life to Jesus, um, I really challenge you to really search yourself. Because if you haven't given your life to Jesus, compromise doesn't work with God. You're not going to walk away with a small elk. You're not going to walk away with a little bit of eternal life. You're going to hell. That's the that's the story. That's the end of the end of the truth. There. You're not going to you're not going to compromise with God. He doesn't compromise. He's perfect. He's unwavering. The Bible says he's unchanging. There's no compromise, and there's no wiggling yourself out of it. You're either all in with Jesus or you're not. Can you just ride a dead bull? Did that bear throw that bull? That's why you smell guts. There's a black bear on it? Oh, that's sick. It's not a dead bull. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. You better regroup, dude. That's when you're still in the guts. Damn it. Hey. Oh, that's sick. That's kind of crazy. Look at this. Well, one of my favorite things about hunting is you truly never know what's going to be next. Uh, you never know what's going to be thrown at you. And we had started up this hill hunting elk and we find this bull and it really looked like uh, it had gotten in a fight with another bull and taken a tine through the side uh, was what we were able to figure out. And we were able to find him and remove his antlers and a big snowstorm moved in about the same time and just turned this into a fun hunt, um, an exciting adventure. We went up and packed out the rest of Nathan's bull and got ourselves headed out. I had to preach in a couple days uh, back at church, so I had to get headed home. And I was looking forward and anticipating uh, getting to fill my tag down in this unit. I just want to take a moment and thank you for faithfully watching our videos. If you want to check out the second part of this hunt, when I tag out on my great bull in southern Idaho, you can click on the link on your screen right now. 
I also encourage you to come on over and follow us on social media. Uh, we have a Facebook with Limitless Outdoors. Um, if you're not a subscriber to our channel yet, there's a link on your screen right now to subscribe. Uh, and I just encourage you to do that so you can stay up to date with everything going on at Limitless Outdoors. We have a lot of action, a lot of hunts coming up, uh, and just want to keep you in the loop on those. Again, thank you for your support. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.